Age of Empires 4. Yep, this is the technical stress test as they are calling it. It is currently on Steam and I think until the 20th of September and it is mostly based around multiplayer. However, there is open right now the first tutorial to get you to know how the game works, to actually look at some gameplay because so far Age of Empires haven't really released much in terms of real raw gameplay. So this is my first time playing it and I thought I'd bring you guys along with me. Right, so we've still got arrow keys. What is it with W, A, S and D and not putting it in games? these days come on <laughs> anyway I, I'm assuming it starts off pretty much like any Age of Empires game getting some food putting down some mills perhaps and it looks great ignore the technical stress test <laughs> watermark going on there that's that's kind of annoying actually but I can kind of understand why this is nowhere near a final product I am really trying to fix a lot of things and that's basically what it's for that's why it's mostly based around the multiplayer because I'm assuming they're trying to test it with as many people playing as possible and I will try and get some multiplayer games as soon as I can now there are a lot of controls actually a lot of changes that you can do to such things like UI and of course the game there's quite a lot of customization here and speaking of the UI I think we have seen bits of this from gameplay trailers in the past that were released and it looks all right. It doesn't look very Age of Empires-y to me. That's all I'm saying. You know how you had it in Age of Empires 2, sort of the beige, brown, dark, dingy, scroll-type information boards. But hey, it is what it is. Let's get some more villagers at the moment. Now, my history with Age of Empires goes back pretty far. It was actually Age of Empires 1, probably, I think, the first game that I played on PC, when Age of Empires 2 being one of the most played games I have on PC. So, I played them for quite a while. Age of Empires 3 I played quite a lot as well, but perhaps not as much of Age of Empires. 2 and of course Age of Mythology which was a beautiful game and so far this is playing pretty smoothly it is pretty nice I do like the animations especially as you see the waypoint there that's pretty nice I mean this wibbly bits a little bit distracting but it is quite smooth and quite cool can I set waypoints yep I can set waypoints on the actual bush itself so we've got to get five villagers that we should be fine for that and we're hearing some of those town center sounds as a villager is made very similar to AOE 2. Okay, so we finished with that bush. So you come back, you're going to come and build a mill. Beautiful. Okay, so there's now a little grid around it. Is that showing the radius that you can then start getting stuff from? Or is that showing perhaps where you can put farms? That's going to be interesting because obviously before in AoE 2 and things like that, you could pretty much just put farms as wherever you want and they just go to the nearest mill. While we're here... Let's get a few more villagers. Let's set them over here, and they're going to be our wood choppers. Now, currently, we can't build a lumber camp, so this is probably actually the closest bit of wood that we can get to right now. Population capacity reached. Well, we're going to need some houses, aren't we, my friends? So far, it's looking like an Age of Empires game, which, you know what, is a good thing. Now, in terms of the graphics, it's been a massive talking point of pretty much all the videos and the gameplay trailers that we've been shown. People saying that it looks way too cartoony, which is weird, because in the actual game, it doesn't look all that cartoony. Don't get me wrong it, it does a bit but no, no more than aoe 2 really did i still can't build houses can i can i no still can't we just got to get wood got to get 50 wood so we should be able to get it when these guys next go back but it does definitely look and feel especially in the gameplay like an age of empires game i would say for this stage in a technical stress test is a positive if it gets later on and there aren't that many advancements that we can see then that's when you're gonna have to start answering questions but it's looking good so far right good we can put a lumber camp but we're not going to put it there we're gonna pop it over here once they've delivered come over here let's just let's just let's get our efficiency going let's get our efficiency up and we don't want you putting a waypoint over there how's our food going and uh, we got six seven hundred food we got a good amount of food so you're going to come over and start getting some wood as well beautiful and of course once you build the lumber camp they automatically go and start chopping now i do like the animation on the lumber camp the animations in general have really really been improved even from something like age of empires 2 definitive edition but now we can start getting some houses on board which means we can start getting people so locked and grid base if we hold shift will it make multiple yeah we can do that can build three houses let's get someone else to go on over and help and we're gonna have to look for some more food did i see more bushes somewhere yes we're gonna need to build some farms now that seems like that's the way forward so we can chop through there we'll get someone else on there but you're gonna come here can we build farms out here i guess we can awesome look at this and they actually diminish the amount of straw and hay that's there that looks beautiful what's this plus do no idea absolute no idea okay we're gonna have to build a scout can we build that from the town center we can light melee cavalry you're gonna come over here oh what are you doing over there my fella 
No, 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 no. Come over and start chopping here. Everything seems to be going quite fast. Now, I don't know if that's just because it's in the tutorial and they're trying to obviously speed it up a little bit to get you through it, but chopping wood, putting down these farms, building those houses even seemed very fast. Okay, let's go find some gold, my friend. Locate a gold vein. We're going to head up this way. This seems like the sensible way to go. Aha, is this gold? Yes, it is. Oh, my word. That is a lot of gold. These gold veins are chunky as hell. Okay. So let's get some villagers. Let's pop them up here. Let's get them ready to go. Beautiful. Now this is this is slightly annoying me. You know what? Before you go up there, can you just you come down here and put a farm there? That'll be good. Can we build replenishing things for the farm or will they do it automatically? That's going to be something interesting to see. Well, let's put a mining camp for now up here. You can carry on exploring a little bit. All seems to be running pretty well, pretty smoothly. We've still got plenty of population space, which is good to know. And you start working on that gold. I mean, surely we need stone first, right? I guess not. I guess we're not going to be building castles anytime soon. I do like that we've come back to the medieval times. We've, you know, we were advancing through the ages with the Age of Empires games, but Age of Empires 4, I think, really is more of a reboot than a sequel, which is why we've gone back to medieval times in the Age of Empires 2 era, because that was one of the most successful games and what really blew up the franchise. So build a landmark. That's new. Advance to the feudal age. Okay, so we actually have to build abbeys and landmarks and things in order to advance to the next age instead of just doing it from your town center. That's an interesting way of doing it. I wonder what happens if that gets destroyed, though, if that changes, you know, what age you're in. I mean, it would be weird if it did, but the fact that it's a physical building, potentially, potentially. Then we're going to the age two abbey of kings. Hell yes. Will this change all my houses and buildings as well? That would be cool. Look at these little guys. Look at them. Look at them with the little gold on their back. Oh, they look beautiful. Oh, this is this is making me quite happy. This is making me quite happy. This is quite fun. The farms do definitely remind me of a game like Cossacks, though. They <laughs> look like they're taking quite a bit of inspiration from them. Not in a bad way. I mean, I think it was they were better than the Age of Empires of farming style. But yeah, it looks cool. It looks really cool. Oh, and here it is starting to rise through the scaffolding. Now, is it going to change any of the other buildings once it's built? Here we go. Here we go. And... Yes, it does. Look at that. We are now in the feudal age. Everybody's cheering. Everybody's happy. We're deforesting the area. We're killing all the badgers. Beautiful. We can now construct a barracks. So this currently doesn't actually do anything at the moment, but it heals all nearby units out of combat by two every 1.5 seconds. Okay, so you can heal troops here. That's cool. Okay, this is building very fast. The building goes so quickly. Good job, everybody. Good job. Because of this, though, we're going to need more houses. Let's pop these houses up. Okay. <laughs> so yeah, it builds like a little garden area out back, but you can actually build over it, so it's not taking up multiple spaces. Good. Right, spearmen. Of course, good anti-cavalry sort of thing and it's doing the cues like so it's not stacking them up like it it does in the early age of empires games that's interesting they only take seven seconds to produce well, everything is going so fast it's mental we're actually probably going to want to put these guys up here because we're probably going to get attacked and if we're going to get attacked it's going to be up here the militia could burn down the obstacle with torches I see, so they're bringing back the Age of Empires 3 where you throw torches at palisades and buildings and things like that rather than the Age of Empires 2 hit something until it sets on fire <laughs> which, I mean, I think is a great realistic way of doing it <laughs> this probably makes a bit more sense can my scout also do that? double left click on the spearman select all, okay, yeah, okay, I understand take it down boys, take it down yes strength and might this wooden palisade is nothing. You are nothing, lad. So because the scout can do it as well, I'm going to assume that most infantry units can attack builds like this. And I love the destruction. It looks beautiful here. Oh, and some bits around the edge are falling down as well. Is that it? That's everybody. Right, scout, we don't actually... Uh, let's, let's bring you just behind. Take that guy out. <laughs> Should be pretty easy. Here we go. Take him out, boys. Press control plus one to create a group control. Okay. So now if I press one, I can select everyone that's in group one. Okay, that's a cool way of doing these, the sort of the unit selection, being able to create little groups with them. I guess I can mix units. So if I do con con oh, that's the Windows key. If I do control and one there, now if I press one, the scout gets involved as well. Okay, the scout's now in that group. How do I get him out of the group? Enemy cavalry camp. Okay, I see. 
this shouldn't be too tricky. The scout, you're going to go on the edge and you're going to go for their, their villagers because you're not going to do much against their cavalry. Yes, go on, lads. Yes. Oh, take them down, boys. Take them down. My scout's going around, causing havoc on the edge. These spearmen are doing a fantastic job of taking down the cavalry from the front. They stand no chance against my long spears. Oh, it feels like Braveheart all over again. A big surprise for the enemy cavalry. And there we have it. Let's destroy their encampment. Throw torches on their town center. Oh, look at that. That is gorgeous. Look at that. That is beautiful. Oh, I love that. I love that. Yes. Oh, I love the voice acting. Yes. The screams of victorious men. Speed and power, everybody. Speed and power. This is what we like to see. Okay, good. The archery camp has been revealed. Okay, hello there, sir. Let's get a few more cavalry because I feel like they do have a lot of archers and they might prove to be a bit of a pain if we're not careful. Right, now we've got all the horsemen. We can do control and two. So now they're all set to two. Infantry is all set to one. Oh, no, it's not, is it? Now infantry is all set to one. Look at that. Okay, so we have one and two. Horsemen on two. This makes using hotkeys so much easier. And you can also see here, I'm assuming, yep, you can click on them there as well. Look at the cavalry go. Spears above their heads. Move out of the way, boys. The cavalry are coming across the bridge. This is going to be brutal. Attack. Attack, boys. Oh, the first guy's taking a lot of damage, but the cavalry is coming in and they are swarming. The spearmen coming up behind as well. We're going to do a ton of damage. Fortunately, the archers are focused on the cavalry, so even though our spears are weakened, it doesn't matter really because they're not taking the brunt of the damage. And now, now it begins the absolute looting and burning of the archer camp. Yes. And down. Down it comes in that beautiful New Age of Empires 4 destruction. Lovely, lovely work, lads. This is this is brilliantly Age of Empires. I mean, at the moment, I've not seen anything that's incredibly special, but as I mentioned, I think it's more of a reboot anyway, so I, I feel like it's done what it needs to do, at least for the tutorial, but I guess we're going to find out later when the full game comes out with all the new factions and things. But yes, okay, we've now got an infantry encampment that we need to take out. Need to build three archery ranges. Come on, lads. Set the longbow up on the cliff top. Beautiful. Right. First off, set you as you. Set you as you. And have we done with archeries? We've done set three as archeries. So we've got to set up on a cliff top. So three, up you come. And we'll put one and two down here. And the army rolls out. Look at them go, boys. You and the lads are going to destroy the French. Yes. I like hearing them murmur to each other. <laughs> I wonder what they're actually saying. All right, let's make sure we got some troops there just in case the spearmen come. We should probably put our spearmen in front of the cavalry, actually. But the archers up on the clifftop, they're going to shoot down with all their strength and powers. Oh, here they come. Oh, here they come. There you go, the longbowmen shooting down below, and it is a slaughter at the bottom. We're sending some cavalry in, which isn't a great idea, but I'm not sure it's going to be the end of the world, especially with our longbows going in. So it is time for the attack to commence. Yes, they did. They fell to me. Is that a victory? Is that a victory? Yes. Oh, advance to the castle age. That's what I liked. God damn here. The white tower. We're going to put it here. We're going to put it here. Get building, my boys. Get building. Well, the pillaging and burning is going on. We're building. Ready. Getting up to the castle age. We've still got some people out here doing nothing. Come on, lads. Get inside. Oh, the loud shouting and screaming from the archers. Come on, lads. Do your job. Get in there. Take them down, boys. Take them down. Beautiful. How's the white tower coming along? Oh, it's looking big. It is becoming a big, big castle. I can't wait to get this built. We should be able to get some really cool buildings once you've done this. And maybe, maybe what I'm guessing is build some siege weaponry ready for the death and destruction at the end. Here it comes. Here it comes. It's being created. It is taking form. And there we have it. Where a few lowly refugees had founded a small village. Now rose a mighty city. I've got way more villages that have just come out of nowhere. <laughs> Beautiful. Is that it? I think that is a victory. It is a victory. That is the Age of Empires 4 first opening mission. And my, was that a lot of fun. I really love how Age of Empires it feels. I know I've said that multiple times, but it just does feel like Age of Empires. It has really recaptured what they did in AoE 2. And because it's a new developer in Relic, I was a little bit worried that they wouldn't be able to do that. But despite a lot of the negative feedback from some of their promotional material, I think they have managed to, at least from what i played so far, pulled off a pretty good game. But if you haven't already, I think you can play it until the 20th of September. Just go onto their Steam page for Age of Empires 4 and you just click 
click request access and you instantly get access to this stress test now there is multiplayer in it which hopefully i'll be able to get some games in before the end of uh, this stress test period but without further ado please let me know what you think down in the comments leave a like in the video if you enjoyed it leave a dislike if you didn't but until then i want to see you in the next one